For the right one, this would be my guide on how to make an ISO file which you can use to emulate games on the PC SX2 software. Now, for starters, an ISO file or image is just basically a copy of the data you'll find on a disk. And in order to make one, you have to have the right software. All you have to do is type in info record on the internet and click on the first option, and this will come up. But to make sure you can actually use the software, you of course need the disk. Which you can get, you simply put it into the drive, and these are all the files we'll be copying. This is the game in its entirety. And just to note, the disk itself does need to be in good condition, or this will not work at all. Once on the website, then we'll click on downloads. You'd be transferred here. Simply click on the installer. You will be directed here. This is fine, do not worry. I would like to stress the importance of this doesn't have any viruses or anything. I've tested this myself. Every game I've got from an ISO file is from this exact same software. So please feel free to use it. Simply click on the first one and it'll start to download for the installer. Once it's downloaded, let me go to your downloads and run the program. It's pretty much the same as all the installers you'll see, so it shouldn't catch you off guard. Pretty simple. As you can see here, nothing out of the ordinary so far. Now once that's done, you'll have to go into your computer, go to Windows, go to your program files, and you can see it's right here. I would not do not remove any of these from the place of installation because it can cause problems from what I found it stops the downloads working at all then simply click on the program and here we are what you want to do is read disk this will not be here unless you have a disk in the drive and actually have a disk drive otherwise you cannot use the software or simply turn itself off file image this is just choosing where you want to save it I'll put it just as entitled one and press save and now press ok and you'll see here you'll start to read the disk this can take 10-15 minutes depending on the state of your computer's disk drive if it's a fast one it goes quicker it also depends as well how much data is on the disk this one was about four gigabytes so not the largest game there are larger ones but as i said the problems with the disk it will not work but in most cases, if the disk is in good condition, it will reach 100% and you'll have no problems, you can then run it. If it does encounter a problem, information will appear by here, say in a particular section or sector of the disk is unreadable, which I'm not going to go through today. But if that does happen, it just means you cannot use the disk. You'll have to either use a different disk or a new one entirely. After that, Simply close the program and your file will appear here. This, of course, is incomplete, so it will only have a fraction of the data. You cannot use these to run on the emulator. If you attempt it, it will either not work or large portions of the game will be missing and you will not be able to use it at all. all right, thank you for listening to my guide. I hope it does help you, as it certainly helped me. I just want to say thank you again. Share, like, and subscribe to help other people just like you and me. Thank you.